So if you've heard of fecal transplants, it is as disgusting as it sounds. It's not that disgusting. I think it sounds awesome. You're right, which makes it not as disgusting. Yeah, it's not like I'm eating the poop. You're putting it where poop goes. Yeah. yeah. Well, but for some people, that simply is totally disgusting. What's like the thing that people always cite about being gross about birth? Poopy. That poop. Poopy poops. I just mm. learned about that because our director, Lou, after Hank had a baby, he was like, welcome to the, what was the name of that poop? Club. Welcome Maconium. to the Maconium Club. <laughs> that's a separate poop. Oh. That's when the baby poops inside, and that's actually sterile like, poop. Yeah, yeah. But then the mom so, also tends to poop during the birth, like 98% so. of the time. Yeah. yeah. Right, but imagine how important that is. You just said the words, baby, which is sterile. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and then you, there's How also the like, hell do they establish it? Yeah. So that's like the coolest thing to me is when people are like, oh, gross, you poop when you have birth. I'm like, yeah, and establish an entire damn ecosystem. What up? What? Yeah, so that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what I'm hearing is poop on your babies. Yeah, hands down, I could not have said it better. <laughs> that is for sure what I'm trying to advocate here. So There's also a whole like microflora system in the, in the birth canal as well, as we yes. might call it the vagina. Well, some have said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, and they've they've found that like that like C-sections versus vaginal birth actually affects the gut microbiomes of children. No. Yes, 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 yeah. and yes, because of thinking about passing through, you are basically by cutting here, removing yeah. and surgically being like, ooh, and let's make sure that this yeah. is sterile, you have screwed the setup of that start. So what you, you gotta, know. I mean, so, but, but like they, they, the, they the weird thing is though, like exogenously, yeah, eventually. They get it. Like the, the question but, is like when the baby comes out, are you like, do you just like rub it on some stuff? Please don't. I mean, no, the birth alone I mean, should do it. Don't rub well, the baby with Well, but if it's a C-section. Oh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, but I mean, you do like you're like, hello, baby. Yeah, like, there's still yeah, you get rub your, your face I mean, face poop shouldn't be on it. your face when you go to do that. But I mean, you're kind of gross. Yeah, you're, you're kind of <laughs> gross. I just, I'm just saying, if you got a dog, you got dog poop on your face sometimes. Totally. They, they lick their butts. The they lick your face. Yeah. Licking, you're yeah. covered in dog poop. Oh yeah. So, so don't rub that on a baby. Kiss your dog before Do having a C-section is also what I'm advocating. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, need, cool. I need a fecal yes. transplant. Does anybody okay. have really good poops? For what? Like, I have ulcerative colitis. What? What's a good criteria poop? Criteria for a good poop. <laughs> I don't know, like so, once a day, nice. Seriously, level because of, that's what these are. These are about. Look from bowel to behavior. This really is your thing. But also, I should get some poops from somebody who's like laid back and like not so stressed out. So I don't think it works that way. Michael like Rana's pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty laid back. Give us your poop it's now. A very <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. It's not a big so, deal. <laughs> Stop being weird about it. I don't, I don't it. know if this is a, a, a weird thing or not, but I tend to only go like once every three days. Oh that's, my god, no, that's no, no. insane. That's, it's perfectly normal. I am the same way. <laughs> to do once a day to once every three days. If I skip a day, it means something terrible has happened. <laughs> What it usually means is that, like, when I do eventually go, it will be extraordinarily unpleasant. Mm. Oh, that's fair. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, like, a 30 to 90 minute experience. Oh, with lots that's of, probably what adds to the discomfort, of just how long? Numbness yeah. well, in the legs. Britt sent you some papers you could She's read next time. She's trying to get you off of this thing. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Britt, so Britt, I sent you that on your I computer. I was going to and... ask if it hurt, and then I was like, that seems rude, but so I'm glad you just like went into it. But <laughs> the next time you're in that predicament, oh, yeah. Brit sent you some research you can read. If you about. poop for more than twenty minutes, it's gonna hurt. Do your legs go numb? And it's in Oh yeah, stuff. yeah. Yeah, it's like sometimes I have to like get up and walk around <laughs> and then go back. <laughs> Yeah, that's you why our bathrooms in the office are I so have. big. I'm never, so long. I'm never you using these bathrooms here. <laughs> I usually am done by the time I get to work. Right. But yeah. sometimes I come to work mid shit. Right, right. <laughs> you were in the middle of doing your in the middle walks, and you're like, I made it to work. This is great news. <laughs> <laughs> to didn't, be continued. Didn't have to stop at the gas station at all. <laughs> the days win. I'll take the wins where I can get them. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this snippet of Holy Fucking Science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at youtube.com slash holyfuckingscience. That's right. Holy Fucking Science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more Holy Fucking Science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play Music. Also, other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching.